If you've applied for a job and got rejected, by the end of this video, you will know exactly what to do next. You will know how to handle the rejection effectively so you can move forward in your job hunting process and land your dream job quicker. And for the best job search and career advice, including resume and job interview tips, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new weekly video. And if we haven't met before, I'm Maria from Career Rebels. Over the last decade, I've worked in business development for big four professional services firms from Australia to Japan. And after interviewing hundreds of candidates from all over the world and building my own teams, I now work with savvy professionals teaching you how to use proven and predictable tools used by high performers to get the job you love with the salary you want and truly deserve. Receiving a job rejection is always challenging. And like any other form of rejection, it might feel personal. If that's something you're struggling with, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what are your challenges. And keep in mind that getting rejected is a normal part of the job search process. The chances are that sooner or later, most job seekers will need to face it. But knowing what to do next is crucial if you want to recover quickly and get a job offer soon. So here are the five steps to recover from a job rejection quickly. Reframe your perspective. One of the most important steps you can take to deal with job rejection is not to take it personally. If a hiring manager doesn't offer you the role you've applied for, it's not a reflection on you or your worth. Even though the rejection might hurt, consider that it might be actually a good thing. The role you thought could be your dream job may not have been the best fit for you. For instance, if the position you applied for was not the right cultural fit, it's possible that the work environment was indeed not right for you. If so, you'd likely end up miserable. By not getting the role you applied for, you are now free to get back to your job hunt and you can apply for much better suited positions in which you can thrive. The quicker you can accept the job rejection, the easier it will be for you to start to feel better and move forward. Additionally, learning from rejection will help you develop greater resilience. This is an essential skill that will serve you well after you end your job search process. Respond to the job rejection gracefully and position yourself for future job opportunities. Job rejection conversations are never easy. No matter how much it hurts right now, thank the hiring manager for the opportunity to be considered for the role. And remember that each interview is an opportunity to expand your network. So don't waste the effort it took for you to create these new relationships. It's not uncommon for the job applicants to be rejected for a specific role, only to be contacted again in a few weeks or months. At that time, the company might want to discuss another role that becomes available. Make sure that you connect with the people you've met through this process. Include recruiters, hiring managers, and other stakeholders you've met during the interview process. LinkedIn makes creating these connections a breeze, so use it to your advantage. And expanding your network will also help you when you do an advanced search on LinkedIn. This will enable you to see if you have any connections that can help you with your job hunt for new opportunities. Ask for feedback so you can understand the reason behind the rejection. Whether you are notified about the job rejection via email or a phone call, use this opportunity to ask about the specific reason as to why your application was not successful. This is an essential step in your job hunt process, and it will help you learn from the experience. Of course, not every hiring manager will provide you a more personalized rejection note. However, the ones who do will give you valuable information that you can use to improve your interview performance in the future. 
For instance, you might find out that there's a specific skill set you need for the role. If so, you can use your time in your current job to develop it if possible. Your main goal is to get as much useful information as you can. This will help you in the long run when you apply for other jobs and in turn, it will increase your chances of success. If you have been receiving many job projections, reconsider your approach. Perhaps you have applied for several different roles and each application ended in rejection. Take time to analyze whether there is anything you could do differently next time. If you keep getting rejected, you may be casting the net too wide. It's best to avoid applying for a lot of jobs without taking time to tailor your application to each role. So look back at the job interview invitations you've received and consider whether they were the best fit for you and what you have to offer. If they are not the best fit, look at what changes you can make to your resume and cover letter to start getting better quality interview invitations. Once you get better interview invitations, you are more likely to excel. Maintain your job search momentum. Each job interview allows you to improve your interviewing skills. Consequently, each job rejection letter brings you closer to getting your dream role. So use everything you've discovered throughout this process so you can learn from it, apply the lessons and improve your chances of success. For example, review and revise any areas of your cover letter and resume that can be improved. Then set up new job alerts and browse jobs that might be a good fit for what you want to do and consider reaching out to new recruiters. And if you haven't done it yet, expand your search to social media where many companies post job opportunities. And while you're waiting to hear back, continue to practice answering interview questions. Remember that a job search rejection is not the end, and the only way to fail is to stop trying. If you keep refining your approach and learning from experience, you will land the job you want. Now you know exactly how to deal with job rejection. But how can you improve your interview performance and impress the interviewers so you can land your dream job? I've written a comprehensive guide to creating a strong first impression in your job interview from the moment you introduce yourself. Download the guide at the link in the description. Also, if you'd like to join a community of savvy professionals just like you, join the Career Rebels community where I share up-to-date interview and career advice to help you develop a career you love. Join the group at the link below. And check out these videos next on how to deal with interview anxiety so you can be confident in your next job interview. And if you like this video, hit the like button be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends.